zebra mussels have spread throughout the Ontario lakes. Historically in Lake Scugog, they have not been able to proliferate or grow because there's been lacking of hard substrate for them to attach to. With the introduction of the invasive species Starry Stonewort, it provides excellent hard substrate for the zebra mussels to attach to. So Starry Stonewort forms dense benthic mats and they're a caraphyte, which secrete calcium carbonate. Their skeleton sort of is uh, crunchy and hard because the calcium carbonate will crystallize on the outside. That allows the threads on the zebra mussel to attach to so they can latch on and not move. In the Great Lakes, zebra mussels are good because they can improve water quality and clarity, but that comes as a cost to the food web. They can selectively pick algae that they like and exude ones that they don't, like microcystis. This could become a problem, so that's why the next three years of funding are so great, so we can figure out what impact the zebra mussels will have on Lake Scugog.